So here's the routine. And, and you've heard some of these things before. Remember, we're going to lean in. Um, so we want to start our day. You get to determine how your day goes. Think about that. You can say, you know what? Today's going to be my de best day. You can claim that and direct your mindset to be looking for all the things that are, are great here. Um, so even before you get out of bed, the goal is to pump it up to um, 10, thinking of 10 things um, that you're grateful for when you start off your day. But even before you get out of bed, think about a couple of things that you're grateful for. And one of them, and I'm not being um, trite about this, one of them is I woke up this morning because not everybody did. We're going to fuel the gratitude. And then you're, you've done your beginning vision. You're going to read or write it or speak it. Speaking it, reading is, is um, oh, I guess reading is kind of both. Um, you're speaking it, but writing and reading your vision takes it to a higher level. Your, your um, body's going to connect in with it. So you want to speak it and, and, um, and bring that out every morning so you're focused. And in addition to writing a um, to-do list, I'm going to encourage you, what's even more important is to write a to-be list. A to-be list. Who am I going to be today? It's you taking on. It's like an actor, Daniel Day-Lewis, when he was um, going to become, um, take on the role of Lincoln. They said he was Lincoln in his real life. He took that on every day. So one of your to-be's is, I'm going to be that person who already has the job that I love. How does he or she move through her day? he or she <laughs> um, move through the day, right? Um, I'm going to be a person of confidence and, and clarity. I'm going to be a person of gratitude. I, only, I say only three each day, but try it on. I'm going to invite you to try this on and then be sure that you're anchoring every day. Even if you're, you have lots of other things on your plate, you're going to focus on what is one step I can take in the direction of my vision from where I am with what I have. Or what can I do in the next five minutes? So you're priming your brain um, for the day. You're setting the tone for the day. And then midday, just kind of checking in. Take a pause. Take that deep breath. Notice what you're thinking. Identify in that moment what you're grateful for. It'll take you, you can use gratitude throughout your day. It takes you to a higher level thinking. And then recalibrating. What, do I, what would I love to get done by the end of the day? So you're anchoring and training the mindset. And then this is a key piece at night before you go to bed. Your bedtime routine is actually the prep for the next morning because your brain's thinking even more throughout the night. If you jump in bed and you're thinking about all the negative things that happened and everything, your brain's going to work at night to groove those into that neural pathway. So I had one client one time who said, you know what, I, Tamara, I wake up in the morning, I'm feeling really negative. And the question was, what were you thinking before you went to bed? Because that's what you're going to show up with in the morning. So you have the opportunity to create your day before the day begins by identifying and going back through your day and identifying what were my wins today? This is such an important thing. I put my resume out there, um, no matter what, how big or small. What, did, what were the wins that day? What am I grateful for? I haven't put that in there, but I'll, I'll share this as well. Um, you might have a forgiveness practice. I forgive myself for being short with someone, or, or there may be someone else that you have little anger built up on. They're not, you're not holding, you know, they, they, don't, they don't even know that you're holding that, but it's you. If you're holding that anger, you want to clear the field and step into that piece. And then Think about where you're going. This is where I'm going. I'm excited for um, you know, what it is that I would love. 